This will be an expression of my personal opinion as a member of your own audience. I am not interested in censorship, least of all censorship of speech. Words should never be traumatic, they are just words. Sticks and stones, as they say. I'm not interested in getting you to say someone is undocumented instead of saying illegal immigration. I'm not interested in you saying common sense gun control instead of saying what you mean. A total confiscate of gun ban on the peasants. The advice I am giving is to clean up your language to serve myself, a member of your audience, as well as other members of your audience. To clean up your language so that we more readily consume and engage your message. I'll give you an example. In conversation and in writing, the word said is one of the most invisible words used. Use it every time it is necessary. Nobody's going to get bored of it, and additional descriptors are not required. So use it as much as is needed. The word just has been used en masse to replace the ums and ahs and errs in of silence and speech. To control or interject into a conversation. Just, 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 just. Just times seven, just times ten, just times a hundred plagues debates and arguments. It is often sublimated to the one word plea for decency. Just means let me speak. Just means let me continue to speak. Just means stop speaking and listen. Just means it is my turn or it is still my turn. Silence in speech and debate. Pauses intentional or otherwise, do serve a purpose. Even the engaged like a little time to process what they've just heard in between ideas. Patience is healthy even among the heated. So I suggest, in any scripted speaking or writing, if you can remove the word just, do so. Your message will only be positively affected. Now if you speak of something that is just, that is, something that is of justice, that's not the same. It is always just and appropriate to use it in that context. The next word I shall move on to is simply. This word as well, like just, is being added and used like sugar in coffee or tea. Simply is used as liberal and dishonest a method as the word literally. Literally has come to mean both literally and figuratively in the dictionary due to its massive misuse in non-literal cases. Simply has been a dishonest marketing word for years now. Put simply on a product and someone assumes they no longer have interest in the ingredient label. Simply milk must mean only milk. Simply juice must mean only juice. It is a dishonest predecessor of a word to an almost unanimously condescending statement. Simply is used like just as some inverted plea to decency, often forecasting an indecent argument after silencing your ignorance for your much needed education or re education. The word simply will breed doubt in your message and put people like me to sleep. As with just, remove the word simply whenever possible and your message will only be positively affected. If you speak of simplicity, or any other honest ambiguation of the word, you need not shy away from it entirely. After all, one does not simply walk into Mordor. I already covered literally, copy and paste from before, use it as little as possible, and only when necessary. Adding it to hyperbole also puts people like me to sleep. Lastly, I'll cover buzzwords. Buzzwords. They do what they say. They make you go to goddamn sleep. A lot of you people out there do a pretty good job of handling buzzwords as I would prefer. That is, taking pause from time to time to reflect on the meaning or synonyms to the buzzword. So we can pick up what you're saying by context, or reminded what you're saying through context. Take, for example, Zeitgeist, or Geist Zeit. 
As I best understand it, zeitgeist is a word capturing the contemporary spirit of the people, views of the population at the time. If someone doesn't know what the zeitgeist is, it will put them to sleep every time you say it. If zeitgeist is every other word out of your mouth, as you may be experiencing now, it will put people to sleep. So many want to argue that it's the current year. Well, this is a good place for that argument. In place of zeitgeist, explain that your statement reflects the views of people in the current year. Or something to that effect. Buzzwords often include combos like Brexit or the Hollywood couple mashups like Brangelina. They seem childish, although they do serve an efficient purpose to convey a message accurately with fewer syllables. Make certain from time to time that you reinforce what you're talking about. Britain exiting the EU or Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Mashup words, when strung in long succession, make stomachs churn with self-shame and put minds to sleep awaiting a better command of the English language. Now these are my views. This is how you keep me awake and alert when delivering your message, even if you are arguing against me. Keep me awake. Keep me engaged. Keep your audience awake. Keep your audience engaged. And stop your crack cocaine addiction to jump cuts, will you? You're an adult!